So Nina, we're talking about um, Skills RI is hosting a virtual hiring event for Care New England on Tuesday. And that's because hospitals right now are dealing with an incredible staffing shortage. So just talk to me a little bit about um, how Skills RI is helping in terms of staffing these hospitals and alternative care sites and how that's been going throughout the pandemic so far. Skills for Known's Future is really excited to be supporting our state in their efforts and making sure Rhode Islanders have access to health care through alternative hospital settings or commonly known as field hospitals. And we've partnered primarily with Care New England to make sure that their field hospital in Cranston at Sakonasset Corning uh, Crossings is actually staffed properly so that when patients are there, they're getting round the clock care, as well as helping to backfill for their Kent Hospital location. As we know, numbers of COVID are surging in the state and we need to make sure that our healthcare systems are staying healthy and that there's enough workers to be able to help support the recovery of anybody who is struggling with COVID and needs hospitalization. So right now we are helping Care New England staff up up to 250 healthcare professionals, primarily registered nurses, certified nursing assistants and medical assistants, but they're also looking for all, all levels in the healthcare system, including administrators and paraprofessionals and doctors. And so we have been putting out call to actions to anybody who wants to roll up their sleeves, join kind of the, the, the frontline workers who are helping us all stay safe during this pandemic. And on Tuesday, December 8th, we have a large virtual hiring event where we're working directly with Care New England, staging on the job interviews and Care New England has been a phenomenal partner in trying to onboard people pretty quickly so that they can get their, their hospital locations properly staffed as our numbers continue to grow of people who need hospitalization. What are some of the challenges with that hosting a virtual event for someone in, in healthcare? who wants to work at a field hospital, is that challenging to, to speak to them in that kind of setting or what other things are, can they expect in that kind of format? I think our virtual hiring events are becoming a mainstay as we have more and more people who are looking for jobs as employers are continuing to build their capacity as the needs, particularly in our hospital locations, continue to grow. We find that virtual hiring events are actually a really efficient way to be able to talk with and interview dozens of people at a time and be able to make some quick decisions. Our virtual hiring events are usually on a platform like a Zoom platform, so people can be able to do some one-on-one -on -one interviews. We also do group interviews. And I think some of the biggest challenges that we have is folks are not used to doing virtual job interviews. And so we really encourage people to take full advantage of our staffing expertise at Skills for Rhode Island's Future to help coach you through what to expect in a, in a virtual interview. Things like understanding your surroundings around you, your environment, making sure your technology is working and testing all of that stuff. So we do spend a lot of time with our job seekers who are coming in, who are responding to the ad for the field hospitals and walking them through what to expect on one of these virtual job interviews. So what are some of the incentives and benefits um, that people uh, could get by working in, in any of these positions? Um, I know that the governor was calling on retirees, visiting healthcare workers, anyone completing their training program. So does that do those benefits and do wages? Um, is there a difference in, in how much more experience you have than someone else? Or is there kind of a baseline? There are multiple variables that go into how we're incentivizing the, the staff that are entering into these field hospitals. So one, many are offering surge wages and surge wages are an opportunity for people to make a little more than their average salary. So for instance, a, a certified nursing assistant or medical assistant would typically enter into the healthcare field in a hospital setting somewhere between 17 and $18 an hour. We're seeing that hourly rate of pay um, increase by at least $5 an hour, and in some cases, if you are experienced, even more than that. And so folks are coming in at $22, $23, $25 an hour, 
which is a nice little bump in pay for positions that typically would pay around 15, 16, $17 an hour. We're seeing that trend in all of the positions, um, but there's not an exact science because there also is, you know, your, your experience definitely comes into play for that. Your experience in an emergency room or dealing with crisis type uh, level interventions is also a factor. What is nice is Care New England is hiring these folks permanently that we are helping source. And that is an exciting opportunity, particularly for folks who have recently graduated. Getting into a hospital setting is not always the easiest. And so this is a nice pathway in to enter into one of our premier healthcare settings here in Rhode Island. So we're really encouraging all of the recent college grads, soon to be college grads, to sign up, get involved, uh, because this could be your pathway into, again, one of our stronger healthcare systems here in Rhode Island. And for retirees who are looking to come, we're actually working with Care New England right now to develop opportunities for shift work. So if you've recently retired, you're enjoying retirement, you don't necessarily want to come and work full time, Care New England has uh, allowed us to talk about per diem shifts and just picking up a few shifts to continue to help out. And, and so many of our healthcare workers, it's in their DNA to just want to roll up their sleeves and help out. And so we know that many are sitting saying, how can I help? So we're trying to create opportunities for anybody to, to re-engage. And if you've recently retired and you're seeing what's going on and you're feeling compelled, you have that call to action, that call of duty inside of you. We're working and hopefully we'll be rolling out next week the per diem opportunities uh, for, for folks to be able to pick up a shift or two to be a part of the, the recovery of, of the pandemic and really helping Rhode Islanders see their way through this. Thank you so much, Nina. Is there anything else that you wanted to add or make sure that people know? Again, if we could just stress that on Tuesday, we're doing this virtual hiring event. We have two sessions with Care New England. The first will be from 10 a.m. to noontime. And then our second session will be in the afternoon. I believe it's one to three. The best thing that you can do is pick up the phone, give us a call. We're waiting to help anybody answer any questions that folks have who are interested in working in a field hospital. Even if you're not a medical professional, they are looking for administrators, they are looking for other roles. If you're not sure you see yourself in a position, give us a call, we'll walk you through. Our phone number is 401-680-5960, and you can visit our website at skillsforri.com.